hey guys, what's going on? And I'm really excited. We've got, oh, some random cards from another video. Uh, we've got um, Future Card Buddy Fire, the newest booster, Volume 3, Drums Adventure, a whole booster box to open, and a sneaky second one over there that's mine. And uh, <laughs> I actually bought these. I'm not just showing these off for the... Uh, for the company, I actually own these. I bought the, I bought two boxes of this. I bought some trial decks, and I, I bought some a few other bits as well. So, and you may have noticed, for those of you that were complaining, well, not so much complaining, but suggesting that I have a playmat, take a look at this. This is the new official Drums Adventures proper rubber playmat, proper premium playmat, just like they make for Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh. So you've got the gauge there, and I'll, I'll come out so you can see the whole thing. But awesome playmat. Um, these will be on sale on our site. So if you want one, get them now, because we don't have that many. So, right, let's get into this. We've got 30 packs to open. And, uh, and I've got another 30 packs after this to open for myself. So, Well, it's all mine, really, but, you know, I'm going to open the others uh, in my own time. So let's open this up and see what we have. In every box, you get uh, what they call a box topper, so something like a gift kind of thing. So in here we have uh, a life counter, which uh, you use in the game to, you know, count life, if that wasn't obvious enough. And you see it goes up, and it gets into the red, and, you know, you're dead. Um, it also has another side on it there, so you can go up to about 24. Um, generally, I've not seen people go higher than sort of about 15. 15 or 16, so uh, maybe in time, but yeah, you get one of those. Um, there is four different designs of this, so if you buy one of these boxes, uh, the box that's over there, sitting over there, may not have the same one of these in. It may be a totally different one. Uh, there's one of Gao, I think there's one of Tasuku, there's one of Tetsuya, and there's one of Zanya as well, so that's cool. And you get, depending which one of these you get, you get a different uh, promo pack. Uh, the Gal one comes with the uh, Brave of the Sun Gal promo. Uh, there's also a second, you can't really see it here, but there's a second promo in here um, of the new Dungeon World. Um, I've actually got the trial deck down here, so I'll quickly show you the... Uh, uh, wherever it's gone, I can't find it. There it is. Uh, you get basically this. This is the Dungeon World flag uh, for Dungeon World players, and you get one in, in this little premium pack thing as well. Uh, obviously the code on this one uh, will be TD4 because it's from a trial deck, but the one in here will be the promo version. So, so yeah, so if you get, you know, the Tosuku one, you get a different promo. Um, th there's there's four different promos, including, uh, and the flag, which makes five, but the flag comes in each one, and there's four different ones of these. So, it's up to you. Well, it's not really up to you because, you know, <laughs> it's random, but there you go. Now, what would be really cool is if I open an SP or a Buddy Rare. I don't think it's going to happen, but, you know, I can hope, right? So, let's a quick look at the packet. Drums Adventures, you know, high quality. Same way that it's always been with Booty Road, no matter what game you play. So, we'll put these off to the side. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to grab a couple. Shake them a little bit, because there's a lot of room in these packs. And then... Cut off the tops. In fact, it's probably a good idea that I do a few at a time. I know it's kind of scary cutting through these. You're probably thinking, no, good God, man, don't do it. But uh, no, trust me, it's fine. <laughs> I'll do, I'll open, uh, I'll cut half for now. And then I'll cut the other half when I go to open them. So just a couple more. There we go. Okay. So, let's get into the actual opening, shall we? So, let's have a look. Wait for my camera to focus. Actor Knight's Empress. Bucket Arm Dragon, who is kind of cool. Uh, Arroy Lance, who I love. I love the artwork. It, it reminds me of Dark Souls. It really does. Actor Knight's High Priest. And we have a rare, which is All Pike Dragon. Which looks awesome. Oh, sorry about that squeak. That was the card packets. Um, Leaping Ninja Sarutobi. Thunder Knight's Iron Fist Dragon. 
Ah, now this is what I was going to explain to you. Um, if you can see there, there's actually a C, which means common. They've decided to add in the ability, kind of like Magic and Pokemon with reverse hollows, that they will randomly replace a common, an uncommon, or a rare uh, with a foil. So this is a common foil, and you can get uncommon foils and rare foils as well. So this rare here, you can get that as a foil which is kind of cool. It will never replace a double, a triple, or an SP, or anything like that, so don't worry, but it's just a little extra thing for people to, like, bling out their decks. Um, I know with these card games, a lot of people like to have the highest rarity. Um, it's kind of a <laughs> kind of an addiction for some people, but you know what I mean. You like to have the highest rarity, so now, instead of a rev, uh, a common of this, you can have a foil. So, there you go. So, that's the foil. Put that off to the side. And a new Dungeon World card, uh, Thunder Spartis. Kind of cool. And the rare is Evil Break from, again, Dungeon World. So, <laughs> Fate Skeleton, fair enough. There is actually one card in here that I really want to pull that uh, is hilarious. I love it. Drago Wizard Rainbow Horn. It's kind of like a mimic, you know, from like dungeon games where you open a chest and it goes a hung and sort of, well, it doesn't go hung, but you know what I mean? <laughs> it kind of eats you. Um, Blade Chakram Dragon. Again, you must be noticing how good this artwork is. Final showdown on the Great Gojo Bridge. And one of the guys that's on my playmat. The uh, Thunder Knight's Drum Bunker Dragon. Awesome looking card. Awesome. So, uh, as I was saying in one of my other videos, if you've got any interest in this whatsoever, please give it a go. I urge you to give it a go. It's not that expensive to get into either. So, Skull Golem Mazubaha. Bye bye later. Dragon Knight Nagakuru. Kura, even. Dominion Rod. And Gotcha. Which is, this is a cool card. I, I read it the other day. Um, it's really cool. For this turn, the next time you would pay gauge for a monster's act. Um, act is like an activated ability. Like, you know, you activate it. Um, on your field, you may pay for, uh, you may pay for, from both your gauge and your opponent's gauge. So you can use their gauge to pay for your cards. How cool is that? Uh, Magical Fighter Seijuro Mado. Kind of cool. I'm hoping my camera can focus. There we go. Scout Criticizing Kiwa. Shadow Shamshir or Sham. I'd probably say Sham because otherwise it goes Shadow 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 Shadow. You sound like Sean Connery. So it's going to be a Shadow Shamshir Dragon, which is kind of hard to say. It looks a bit like Thousand Rapier Dragon, like kind of Victorian there. It's kind of cool. Uh, here's an awesome weapon from the new Dungeon World. Looks really cool. Um, Dragon Vanquishing Sword Dragon Slayer, which is really cool. And oh my god, I got an SP. This is the first time I have ever pulled an SP, and you know what? It's incredibly hard to read what one it is. I'm trying to read the code at the bottom, but it's like impossible to see. Yeah, I can't actually read it. It's that sparkly, but I got an SP. How cool is that? I am incredibly happy about that. I've never pulled an SP. I can't tell you how beautiful this thing looks. I kind of wish it wasn't this card, personally, because I, I don't want this... Well, I do want it, but uh, it's not one I was really after. But I got an SP. It's the first time I've ever pulled one, and it was on camera. <sighs> awesome. Really happy with that. Sorry if I blinded you with that, but it's incredibly sparkly. So, Doberman Cobalt from the new Dungeon World. The Dragon again. Evil Break as a foil. Now, that's, uh, that just shows you what you can get now. They replaced the rare, see here is an R. They're both they're both the exact same number, the exact same card, except this one's a rare and this one's a foil. So you can get that for every rare, common and uncommon. So that's really a cool little touch. Uh Dominion Road again. And another cool looking weapon. We have Braves Sword Soma Sword. Um which again looks cool. This looks brilliant in foil as well. I've seen it in foil. It looks amazing. Um if you're if you're wanting to get into this, I would suggest going for the Dungeon World. They're they're a really cool world. Dragon World probably has the most support, but Dungeon World is kind of cool and new, so I suggest you give it a go. Um, I do want to hear your thoughts down in the description as well, so please comment. Let me know what you think. Aftermath, Gagaku. I'm gonna go with Gagaku. Dragon Wizard Rainbow Horn. 
Thunder Knight's main ghost dragon. Looks really cool, like spearing you in the face. Uh, Dark Ninja Technique Poison Mist Formation. Just reminds me of something from Naruto. But uh, again, cool. And the Great Spell Deus Ex Machina. Uh, we have Fate Skeleton. Todo the Unseen Hands. Or Of the Unseen Hand. No, of the Unseen Hands. There we go. I will say it properly. Thunder Knight's Iron Fist Dragon. Tuck Sword Dragon. And Actor Knight's Emperor, who's got a really sort of Game of Thrones vibe going on. Still, pretty cool. From the from the generics, if you were wondering. Uh, Doberman Cobalt again, Aftermath. Thunder Knight's Brass Shield Dragon. Cool. <laughs> That's one of the mimics. Big surprise, Pandora. Um, when it's destroyed, play rock, paper, scissors with your opponent only once. Deal one damage to the player who does not win. In other words, if it's a draw, bro both players will be dealt one damage. So yeah, the person who doesn't win. <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's a lot of this random stuff going on. Like, you know, play rock, paper, scissors. So um, Ah, and we have a double R. Our first double, which is Bladewing Phoenix. I believe this bird is the buddy of one of the characters in the new in the newer episodes, around episode 20-ish. Um, so it's cool to get that. I'm happy with that. I haven't even seen a triple yet. So we've got Staff of Monster Master Alerta. No damage, no crits, but it's got a cool effect. You can pause there if you want to read that. But, uh, yep. Yep. I'm not going to go through all the names if you've already seen them. So Thunder Knight's Broadsword Dragon. Looks awesome. Have you noticed there's a theme? There's a lot of dragons <laughs> <laughs> dragons seem to be creeping into all the different worlds. Like, even in Magic World, there's, like, Drago Wizard. So it's kind of, like, funny. Um, <laughs> see, look. Uh, exactly what I just said. Drago Wizard Tempest Wing. Looks cool, though. Don't get me wrong. I like his little, like, hat and stuff. I think that's a hat. Yeah, it is. It's kind of cool. And, oh, that, I love this card as well. It, it gives me a Smaug vibe from uh, Lord of the, uh, the Hobbit, rather. If you look around him, he's got loads of coins and treasure, and he's a big red fire-breathing dragon. It just gives me that vibe. Um, 10,000 power, 3 crits, 4,000 defense, and an awesomely powerful effect. And he's got Penetrate and Soul Guard. Um, and, but he does have Life Link 3, so if he leaves the field, you lose 3 life. So there you go. You will lose three life if he leaves your field. Uh, Actonite's Justice, who looks awesome, I have to say. Uh, Bardish Dragon. A foil uncommon of Justice Hammer. Uh, where does that go? Over there. Ninja Art Snake Gaze. Again, reminds me of Naruto, especially with the headband. And we have Thunder Knight's Battle Axe Dragon, who, again, looks pretty cool. And uh, he's just, his cool cost is 3 gauge because he's uh, 5,000, 5,000 and 4 crits. So, yeah, you need to pay some gauge for him. <laughs> Another cool one from Dungeon World. In every JRPG, the first em enemy you ever fight is a slime. Um, so Gummy Slime, uh, he has the move stuck, which means all your opponent's monsters on the field cannot move or return to the hand. So, And it's uh, averagely powerful. Quite weak, really, but it's got two crits, so. And it's only a size one, so. Gummy Slime. Uh, Fire Streak Ninja Gokuen. Or, yeah, Gokuen, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, Leather Buckler Dragon. Uh, an Impact, which is an uncommon, which is Gospel of the White Dragon Deity. Which is awesome, by the way, I have to show you this. Um... You may pay four gauge. You may only cast this card when your opponent casts an impact during your opponent's final phase. And if you have six or more armor dragon in the drop zone, so it's quite a high thing, nullify the impact and deal two damage to your opponent. It stops an impact against you and does a bit of damage to them. It could win you the game. It's really cool. And there, there's the rare I wanted to show you. There it is. Mimic with a prize. He is awesome. 4,000, 4,000 with two crits. Just look at that artwork. It's so cool. And it's even better in person. I mean, the HD does, does a good job of showing it off, but it's not the greatest card in the world, like, effect-wise, but it's just 
the flavour of it, if that makes not I'm not talking about eating it, by the way. I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about the way it fits in with the theme. It's just really, really cool. Really like it. Moving on. Uh, Skull Golem Mazubaha. Already said that one. I already said that one as well, but Dragon Knight Nogakura. Tail Sword Dragon. We haven't seen him. So there you go, that's a new one. And a triple R. We have Wanderer the Gold. Who is a triple R from Katana World. And uh, you can read his effect if you want. I'm not keen on Katana World myself. I don't know why. I thought I really would love them. And I kind of don't. But they're alright. They're okay. I mean, everything's cool, but you know. Uh, Dragon Knight Saitao. Or Saito. That's a new one. Drago Genius. Um, if you have five or less life, you can pay two gauge and draw two cards. So, eh. But then you lose this card as well, so it's like three for two. Mm. Demon Lord's Dungeon. That looks really cool as well. Really nice. Hopefully if you can read this, you can read the effect if you want. Uh, we have a double R. Super Armor Dragon, Volverized Dragon. Looks really cool. There's the effect on it if you would like to read it. It's got 8,000 power, 2 crits, and 7,000 defense. He's a size 3. He's pretty big. So we're just at halfway on this box now. Back to Knight's Empress. Need a Dragon Knight Kagekiyo. Again, kind of cool. You the Man. That's actually what it's called. You the Man. Magic World card. And Million Rapier Dragon. Some of you who are familiar with this will probably know Thousand Rapier Dragon. Um, he has an effect to do with it. You can uh, pay one gauge and you may put a Thousand Rapier Dragon from your drop zone into his soul. Um, if there is one or more cards in this monster's soul, this monster gets double attack and soul guard. So, really cool. And he's only a size 2. Already got, s is it 6 or 8? I think it's a 6,000. Yeah, 6,000 attack. Uh, 2,000 defense and 2 crits so he ends up get, being able to do 4 damage and he has soul guard so I think it's really cool I, I really like that one so I'm just going to move this pile of commons out of the way while we move on to stack 2 I would cut all these before um, the video but some people would probably sort of you know, say I was lying and didn't pull the things I pulled. Um, I've had that before where I've opened stuff, sort of, I've cut the tops just to sort of save time on the video because people complained that my videos were too long. I, I, this was a long time ago, though. And um, so I decided not to do it, and then they complained my videos were too long. So it's like, well, I'm not going to win, am I? So I'm just going to do it the way I want to do it. <laughs> Essentially. Okay. That's all of them open. And let's carry on. Another 15 packs. Uh, I'll try and go through this side a little bit quicker as we are already at 18 minutes. So, yeah, if I've said the name already, I'm not going to say it again. Tosa Hound Cobalt. Again for uh, Dungeon World. And we have the. Uh, this is the double R of the SP that I got. You can see there's actually like a grid pattern on the SP as well. I didn't even notice that before. But yeah, this is the double R. This is the SP of it. So, uh, so there you go. Uh, put the SP down. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. Okay. Uh, Fire Street Ninja. Yeah, I've already seen him. Emperor Shield. We haven't seen that one yet. If you want to pause it and have a read of that, you may. Seen him. Uh, Dragon Knight Hijikata. I love the Dragon Knights, they are cool. And gotcha. I think we may have. Oh no, Magic Arm Burning Fist. That's a weapon or an item, whatever you want to call it, for the. Uh, what are they called? Magic World, yeah. And we have uh, Missile Magician Adric. Cool. From Dungeon World, of course. Who are introduced in this set and the new trial deck. Uh, Drago Wizard Burning Wand. He looks really cool. Uh, if you can't tell what's going on in that picture, I, I couldn't have first. His face is there. So, yeah. Because there's so many 
things just going on. I couldn't tell what was happening at first. So. Another Thunder Knights Drum Bunker Dragon. Cool. He's always good to get. Being sort of like the main character's buddy, you know, you kind of want to get him, really. Um, yeah. Love that card. A foil version of a Nagakura. Nagakura, yeah. Foil version of him. Uh, you can go down there. Uh, Demon Lord's Dungeon. And uh, Magical Fortress also claims. Looks really cool. If you want to read what he does, you can. Uh, Magical Fighter, yeah, we've seen him. We've seen Gummy Slime! <laughs> but it's awesome, sir. Thunder Spartus. Dragon Barrier, that's a rare. If you want to read that one, you can as well. Feel free. I'm not suggesting that you read it in the quick like moment while I show it. I'm saying pause the video, just so you know. <laughs> Bucket Armor oh, Dragon, so cool. Um, yep, Nogakura, we just got one of him. Big Surprise Pandora. <laughs> And a Thunder Formation, uh, which is a Thunder Knights type card. If you want to read it, you may. Looks really cool on the front. Artwork wise, of course. <laughs> we got a uh, foil of him now. Uh, Flame Master Ganzak Dvar, or just Var, probably. I don't think you pronounce that D, but Flame Master Ganzak Dvar. So, yep, looks really cool as well. If you want to read him, you can. And a rare, which is a uh, mission card, Rest at the Nazano Hot Springs. Again, you can read that one as it's quite a new card. So there you go. Not many packs to go, guys, but I got an SP. That's really cool. Broadsword, Buckler, Final Showdown. Ah, and we have a Double R which is uh, Barbarish Anger, which is an impact card for the uh, Dragon World. If you want to read what the impact card does, there you go. Now we should have, we've got, including this one, six packs, so we should have two double R's coming. Bucket arm, Wolf of Mibu, if you want to read that one, and look at the artwork, you can. And we have Continue, which is a really cool card. It's like the little flavor text down here. It's like, with one coin... No, no. With one gauge, I shall carry on. It's like, because, you know, like, Continue, you know, at the end of a game when you lose in the old school kind of games. Yeah, that's sort of what that's trying to show. Kind of cool, the little theme that it goes with. Leaping Ninja Saratobi. Seen these? A foil version of Cecilia's spell Disarm. I don't think we've seen a normal one of that yet. Yeah, it's an uncommon, so have a read of that. Justice Hammer, and we have uh, Thunder Knight's Drago, Drago Archer. I couldn't see it because of the foil being so shiny. I've got a light at the bottom of my camera it's shining here, so it's kind of bright. Um, but yeah, he looks really cool as well. 2002 and 2000, size 1. Four packs to go, guys. Shemshia, Dragon Genius, Divine Protection of Shalsana, which you can have a look at as well. And Dungeon Explosion, which the artwork for that is fantastic. Love it so much. And uh, you can read it as well. That is a double R. So it looks like all the hollows are at the bottom. Oh, we haven't seen that one yet. Dragon Blade, Drago Seal, or Drago Drago Sele, Drago Sele, maybe something like that. There's that if you want to read it. And we have another weapon, which is Thunder Braid, Thunder Braid, Thunder Blade Drago Breaker, or Drago. I, I think in the show they say Drago, but you know, five thousand and two crits, pretty nice. So we have two packs left. Does that mean that there's going to be two, or have I already had? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, Secret Arts, Dance of the Guardian Swords. You can read that. We have ah, we have a Triple R, which is Dragon Knight Condal, which is kind of cool. You can read that and get a good look at him. He is cool. Last pack, guys. Last pack. 
thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Gummy slime. Um, yep. Actonite's Hanged Man. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Size zero. Power and stuff. 3,000, 3,000, one crit. And we have a Power Ray Maximum. There. So yeah, there you are. And I'm just going to check this. Um, just to see that I did actually get what I thought I was getting. Uh, it looks like I got two doubles and five. Maybe this one replaced. Maybe the SP replaces. Yeah, I think the SP replaces a triple. So yeah, that's probably why. Okay, so I did get three technically and five doubles. Um, I may have actually put a double aside by accident. Maybe. No, these are all just the foils. Uh, you know, the random foils of commons and stuff. So yeah, that was that. Um, really enjoyed that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy watching these videos for Buddy Fight because I really love this game and I'm really trying to get some more people interested in it. Just just a bit of interest would be cool. Um, it's a great game, great artwork, great quality, um, and I suggest if you've got the tiniest, tiniest interest, just give it a go. Even if you have to buy two decks yourself and take one to a friend's house and say, "Come on, let's let's give this a go," you know, let's give it a game. See see how it goes. Soon, though, when we move warehouse, you guys will be able to come in and actually play games with me uh, and the other members of our staff and other people as well. So I'll be showing this off then. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, really enjoyed opening this, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I will see you all very, very soon with some more Buddy Fight and, of course, other games too. See you all later.